Hello and welcome to Infinity. When working with colours, um, we often look at it in terms of just a single colour or a dominant colour, but often you've also got a supporting colour, which has a significant influence, and importantly a recessive third colour, which is kind of hanging around, around the bottom, but can have subtle and important effects. And what that often means is that third colour is often in the opposite side of the colour wheel, to where you think things are. So if you're thinking about reds, ones down here can have a very important and useful effect. I'm going to draw a rectangle here and we'll have a work on the fill colour and look at what happens in there. When you've got all the top, all are dominant. But if I pull one down, now this becomes more supporting when it's close or it's recessive when it's far down. And another one then can be in the middle here. So if it's somewhere in here, we've got clearly a dominant red, which is why this looks a reddy colour. You've got a supporting blue here, which changes the magenta effect. And then down the bottom here, here's green and has a subtle effect. And that's what we want to look for is where there is that bottom colour here and we can make something interesting from it. So let's go to a picture here. And here we've got reds, uh, here we've got blues up here, and there's greens everywhere as well. So let's bring up, just so we can see more clearly, View Studio and the Info Panel. And the Info Panel can be used to have a close look at colours. So I can take this sample here, I'm going to put it up into the reds here, and you can see something of what this is, going, what's going on. So we look down here and you can see red is clearly dominant. It's got its way above the others and green and blue are both kind of together. So what you've got is reds here and the recessive colour is green and blue together, which makes that a cyan. So what can we use to control that? And a good control in this case is go to adjustments and selective colour. And what this does is the colour up here is the colour that you are interested in that you want to change. So this selects from the picture. So when I've got red, it's only going to select the, the ones where red is dominant. So it looks at the dominant colour. And then these lets us control others. Cyan, magenta and yellow are actually red, green and blue in reverse. So if I wanted to change the red in there, see if I turn this up and down, see it's already selected the reds, which is what this up here is doing. So I'm only changing those flowers. But if I turn it down, just in, in even all the way up, it just doesn't look natural. I want a natural effect. So what I'm going to do is play around the green and blue down here, which is by these. So if I turn down magenta, I'm turning up green. But that makes that even worse. Because what I want to do is to pull out the reds. I want to get rid of the green and blue, the, both the recessive colours. So if I turn these up, and both some around together, but you can play with them. Now look at that, that's a lot more natural red up here by pulling these two down here. It looks like the colour should be for that flower. And let's drag up here into the sky. Now what I've got is blue is dominant, green is supportive, red is in third place there. So I'm going to take the top two here, green and blue, that makes cyan, so the colour to select here is cyan. And then to adjust the red, I use the cyan control. And if I move the, this one down, I'm going to reduce cyan, which means I increase red. So if I, red goes up, it gets closer to green and blue. So the whole colour here, because it's getting closer to a lighter, whiter colour to push them all up. But if I go in the other direction, when I go down here, I'm taking red down, which lets the cyan come through. Red is no longer affecting it so much, which makes the sky look a lot more cyan. Finally, let's go over to this tree over here, which is looking a bit pale and wan, and look at what we can get here. So I drop that into here, and what we've got here is red and green are both close together, so it's yellow. So there's a lot of yellow in this here, and blue is the third recessive colour. So I'm going to select the colour here, I'm going to select yellows here, which means I'm only going to affect yellows in the picture. And I'm going to use the yellow control here, which is really a blue control. 
and if I turn this down here that increases the blue which pushes up towards the other which makes this look a lot more grey so I go the other way which turns the blue down which lets the yellow come through which makes this a lot more lively colour. So there we go you look for the third colour, the lowest colour, and see how you could control that. It may be a single one, it may be a couple of them, and you can get a lot more control, and a lot more subtle control, and make things a lot more natural. So let's look at this then. Before we had this, and just subtle improvements, there's after. Thank you very much for watching.